So um, we've, we've seen a very rough year in South Africa. Um, and what's, what's also very, well, it's a concern. It's not a, not a very concern, it's a concern. That um, we see that in the, in the advanced economies, they've had a second wave. And in fact, if you go and look at the infection rate in the States, they're actually on a third wave. So the second wave for us would mean further lockdowns which when we're already in huge economic trouble now, um, would be absolutely devastating. What we are finding, and if you look at the latest um, infection rates in the pandemic, because of the lockdowns in Europe and, and the UK, from the 6th of November, those infection rates started coming down. So the lockdowns are working. So I think the lockdowns are gonna allow, allow Father Christmas into the shops and uh, things are going to start start to, to, to roll again in that, in that sense, we are starting to see our infection rates picking up again. So we got down, at, at our peak, we were around about 13,000 uh, per day. At our lowest point uh, in this, this drop in the cycle, we were about 1,300, and we're now 2,500, 2,600, and the trend is up. So if it carries on and people aren't responsible, then we will get locked down again. Um, and that's, that will be absolutely devastating for us. And of course, what's happening in all of this, and this is where, where some of the, the real problems are occurring, is that you're getting income disparities because certain people can carry on working while others can't. Um, because the, uh, the markets have been going so well, the capital markets, thinking of equities as well as bonds, um, the rich have been getting richer because certainly their investment performance has been really good. Uh, many of the portfolios um, that have been invested overseas have you know, been making this year 15, 14, 15 percent and last year 26, 27 percent in dollar terms, which is unbelievable. So, you know, the rich have been getting richer, the poor, the poor have been without work and the relief funds haven't been getting to them. So um, this is where um, government has to spend the money to try and keep st social stability. So it's been a, we, we're now sitting in a position where, I was just listening to the radio this morning, I mean, the truck drivers are, are complaining that foreigners are, are driving the trucks. There are too many foreigners driving the trucks. So the whole xenophobia thing is cropping up again because people can't find jobs. And, um, you know, this is, this is where um, government's role in trying to calm things down um, is so critically, critically important. <music>